Hey guys, I hope you're doing really, really well and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you some things that I've been absolutely loving lately. Also a few disappointments at the end, unfortunately. And as always, combo of beauty and lifestyle products. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Hopefully I don't ramble too much because I've got quite a bit in here that I've been loving lately. I haven't had a favorites in quite a while. So quite a bit to share with you guys. Now, oh, where do I start? Okay, this one here, Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. Been absolutely loving this. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know I like light to medium coverage on a daily basis. So this is absolutely perfect because it blurs but it's not too full coverage. It's quite light on the skin, so you're not, it's not too heavy, um, and it's just beautiful to wear during the day. It's also got an SPF 15. Now, I have to make sure that I'm wearing my sunscreen every day, so this is just an added bonus of an SPF 15, uh, because when I'm pregnant, I always get is it hyperpigmentation? So just pigmentation uh, on my forehead and on my nose. It, it seems to go away after I give birth. Um, but so hopefully this time it does as well. Um, but yeah, I, I know that it's from sun exposure. So I'm making sure I'm slapping on my SPF and this is just an added bonus SPF 15. Yeah, it's just a beautiful liquid foundation. So absolutely love this. I'm in shade three. I've nearly finished another one. This is my second one. So I need to get a backup of it. Uh, let's see now concealer. This one here. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, it's a recent find of mine. I watched Nakia's uh, review of this and I just had to go out and get it straight away. I got shade cashmere and I actually use this. I don't really need to conceal as such. I use it more as sort of a brightening concealer underneath the eyes um, and anywhere else that I want to highlight as well. So the cashmere shade is perfect for me. I normally wear my MAC Pro Longwear underneath my eyes, which I love, but this one isn't as fluidy, so liquidy, I suppose. It sets really fast. That's one thing I have found with it. Um, usually I'd leave the, the MAC underneath my eyes just to sort of set a little and then blend it in. But this, I have to go straight in and blend straight away because it sets really fast, which is good because once it sets, it stays in place. But yeah, you do have to work fast with it and I absolutely love it, guys. It's got a big doe foot applicator like that and yeah uh, one thing i did also find is that not to use too much so the first time i used it i was just like oh let's slap this on there and see how it goes it was just too much so just two dots underneath the eyes and anywhere else that you want to highlight or conceal um and it's the perfect amount so it's going to last me ages and a new fave and love of mine. Now, Ulta 3, I posted a picture on my Instagram and did a few stories on some of their new range. And yeah, it's beautiful, guys. So this one is my absolute favorite blush at the moment. So it's the Ulta 3 Dream Duo Baked Blush. I really love baked blushes, guys, because especially during the day, it just gives, um, it's not flat. So because it's baked, it's just got a bit of a sheen in it. And so when you put it on your cheeks, you don't need to worry about a highlighter during the day. It just brightens and yeah, just gives a beautiful finish to the skin. So I loved baked products. I love the Milani baked blushes as well, actually, but this is my new favorite. I'm wearing this more coral shade today. The two swatches there. So you can see that there is that little bit of sheen and just adds that glow to the cheeks, which I love. So this one is Blushed Beauty. Um, I always get a lot of questions where I buy my Ulta 3 products from. I buy mine from Terry White Chemist, but I'll leave the Ulta 3 link in the description bar. They've got a list of all their stockists around Australia as well. So that one is a new favorite. Enough makeup product before I get into a bit of skincare and hair care. Uh, the Essence You Better Work Volume and Curl Mascara. I love this, it's waterproof. Um, it says it's gym proof. So yeah, if you're sweating and so forth, it doesn't come off, I haven't used it in the gym yet. It's definitely waterproof and it really does give that really nice curl. You guys know I absolutely love Essence Mascaras. They're just amazing quality for the price. So this is quite, 
I think it was from a recent collection, um, but any of the Essence mascaras are amazing. And now, okay, so I'll delve into a bit of skincare. This is my Derma Energy Hydrate and Inflate Serum, which I've absolutely been loving. I'm needing a bit of inflating. <laughs> At the moment, I'm just feeling just after, because we're in spring now in Australia, just after winter, it's just been so windy and cold here that I just need hydration. I need hydration and plumping of the skin. Um, so I've been using this ritually at night. Hydrate and Inflate has been formulated to help your skin retain essential moisture. Ideal for all skin types, this hydrating, soothing and energizing serum is especially beneficial for dry and dehydrated skin. It's not too, um, what would you say, too thick or, you know, not, doesn't absorb easily. It just, it just goes beautifully on the skin. So that's it there. And just retains the moisture in your skin. And then I put my moisturizer on after, once this is absorbed a little bit more. And yeah, in the morning, my skin's always really nice and smooth and hydrated and yeah, been loving. I'm still loving my Insta Natural Eyelash Enhancing Serum. I've been using this every night for quite a while now. I have taken a before photo, so I do need to take an after photo. It's just I'm still loving it and still seeing uh, really good results. So yeah, I will get my review of this up soon for you guys. Um, I just buy mine on iHerb and it's just a little brush that you just paint uh, onto your eyelashes. And yeah, I really do. I really do think it makes a difference. Uh, so yeah, still loving that, guys. Now for a hair product. Now since I have gone a little bit lighter, and because of such the dry, windy weather, um, I've been really loving hair masks. And this one is my absolute go-to. It's by DNA Organics, and it's the. AHIA winner 2019 Australian Hair Industry Awards of Best Treatment, which is so good. It's their Primrose Rico Mask. So it says providing intense hydration, nourishment, smooth combing, and rebuilding of the hair. And I use this, well, I have been using it twice a week, um, but I'm probably now that it's it's not as dry now, just maybe once a week. And it smells amazing, guys. It leaves my hair smelling so good. When I first got it, I was like, oh my gosh. It's got a really natural scent, um, but it's, yeah, it's just really, really beautiful and leaves my hair so soft. I'm very prone because I've got a lot of hair, but it's quite fine. So my hair in this previous dry weather uh, fizzes. So, you know, oh, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> I hate when it does that, that real sort of like buffy when you brush your hair and like clack, 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 gross. So I knew I had to get onto masking my hair and adding as much hydration to it as possible. And yeah, this has been absolutely amazing. So love that as well. Now a couple of body products, guys. I've been having mm, a bit of sore, sore shoulders, a bit of a lower back. Um, muscle ache, I suppose. And this magnesium oil has been so good. So I looked it up and you can use it in pregnancy. It's by the Base Collective and it says it's naturally derived ingredients that may assist with muscle fatigue, muscle cramps, uh, magnesium deficiency, sleep and recovery. So definitely recommend this guys. I believe they've got it in Priceline now, which is so good. Um, yeah. It's a go-to for me when I've got the sore muscles going on. And this here I've gotten back to. I used this religiously when I was pregnant with Lockie. And so, yeah, I'm back onto it now. Stretch marks are hereditary in our family, but I didn't have them with Lockie. So I'm not sure if it was because of this or what. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm back onto it morning and night and it's Walida Stretch Mark Massage Oil. It smells so good. And I just, oh, um, I just pop a bit of this on, as I said, morning and night, rub it into the belly and 
I haven't got any stretch marks yet either. But even if I do get stretch marks in this pregnancy, it's absolutely fine. I just wanna keep the skin smooth and supple, and this has been fantastic. And lastly for my favorites, this beautiful piece here, gorgeous necklace. I love the length of these shorter necklaces. And uh, yeah, this is a sterling silver, and then you can get rose gold or gold plated as well. Um, so this was actually sent to me from my jewelry story, which was absolutely lovely. So I'll leave their Instagram in the description description bar for you guys um, but M for Mel I chose and but I'm also going to stack it with an L for Lockie and I'm not sure about the next initial uh, because yeah we haven't decided on a name as yet but yeah it's just a beautiful length and I've just been wearing it a lot so yes that is my last favorite now on to some disappointments as I said unfortunately now this one here I need you guys to let me know if you have got it and you love it and I need to keep trying it but the few times that I've tried it it just hasn't worked for me and it's the Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. I was so excited to get this because as you guys know I love the Hello Happy Soft Glow Foundation so I thought I'm really going to love the Flawless Brightening one uh, but yeah it just doesn't sit on my skin well. Um, it just doesn't blend. It just looks, yeah, not very good on my skin. And I've used a brush, I've used my fingers, I've used a sponge. So if you guys have got this, and as I said, you've got, you love it and you've got a way that you use it, then definitely let me know. And I was so excited to try this. So yeah, that's unfortunate. And also this is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Now, I absolutely love my Maybelline Master Precise liquid liner, but this one here, I was really excited to get as well. It's got this really nice sort of like rubbery, um, uh, what would you say? I don't want to say holder, but where you pop your fingers and it sort of, you know, gives you good stability when you're holding it, which is great. But the tip of it, it's really fine, which you guys know I love, but it's too long. So when you're applying, it's sort of, it's got like a real bend to it and you just need the slightest amount of pressure and it bends. So to get a real precise line, it's quite hard. Um, so this was unfortunate because I thought it would be really, really good. Um, it lasts, as it says, it's all day and it does last all day, but it just, it's not as quick and easy as the Master Precise. And lastly, these I was so looking forward to getting guys, the Eco Coconut Scourers. So these here. So what I loved about these is that they're naturally antibacterial, multi-purpose, non-scratching, eco-friendly, biodegradable, and plastic-free, which I'm all about. So for the kitchen, um, and these ones here, they're round ones, they're for just all-purpose cleaning as well. So, oh, well, wow. um, there's a box of two, and I also got the dish one as well, but because um, I do the cooking and my husband does the cleaning after and he was like what is this it's not working and if you see like there's just these little fibery things like these little scour things they come off when you're washing up as well which is no good and yeah it's just got a lot of fallout and yeah, so I was really excited to try these out. So yeah, I might use these round ones and maybe even this one as well, more for outdoor cleaning. It's just that it just doesn't feel right with all the fallout and everything using it for um, the kitchen. So kitchen, like cleaning dishes and so forth. So yeah, I will definitely still use them. I was just really disappointed guys. Because yeah, I just love the concept. So that's everything that I've been loving lately guys and a few things that I haven't as well. Um, as always, I'll leave links to everything that I've spoken about in the description bar if you're interested. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you subscribe if you're new to my channel and I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao.